Your middle 30s, Roy, you're going to be fighting quicker fighters. And it's very hard to outbox someone who's quicker than you are. You are exactly right. And that's what my point was earlier, that it's much more difficult for him to outbox a young guy now than it would have been back in his day. Mitchell's two biggest fights in his career, both against Costa Zou, both ended in devastating knockout losses. The last one was really devastating a year ago, four knockdowns. Let me correct that. The first fight against Zou ended in a technical decision when he injured his left knee. The second one was the knockout. And incidentally, the injury to Sean Bay's left knee was so severe that he says he still has to spend significant time at every training session stretching, rehabbing the knee and working with it before he can actually get into the ring and spar. He first tore his ACL and then eventually in another injury tore all the support structure around the ACL. Now here comes the man who is probably the most gifted athletic specimen in the sport at this very moment. Lloyd Mayweather Jr. There's a crowd, Roy, about half the size of your crowd a few years ago. You drew about 13,000. Do you think he's going to become the kind of popular player that will fill these venues someday? Yeah, I think he will. It'll take him a few more years to do it, but I think he'll get to that because he's willing to fight people. He's willing to fight people at big risk. And as long as he continues to go on the road he's going on, people will soon buy into Floyd Mayweather because he is a very, very good fighter. Yeah, if his market power ever catches up to his talent, that will be a cosmic force in the sport. And you can see how easily he has dispatched most opponents. His, his most difficult challenge in the eyes of many was going to be the night that he fought Diego Corrales. There were many ringsiders who were picking Corrales. Mayweather knocked him down a half dozen times. Our... our uh, Tale of the tape for Floyd Mayweather Jr. against Sean Bay Mitchell doesn't offer much encouragement for Mitchell. Take a look and you're going to see the seven-year age advantage for Mayweather, a one-inch height advantage, a four-and-a-half-inch arm length advantage, we measured from the armpit to the end of the fifth. They weighed in. Floyd right on the 147-pound limit. Mitchell a pound and three-quarters under. One pound. In the interim, Mayweather has only put on one pound while Mitchell has added nine and three quarters pounds, suggesting that Mayweather was in absolutely perfect or sensational shape when he reached the weigh-in yesterday. He says that his walking around weight is 147 pounds. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather Jr. Sean Bay Mitchell fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. The case of cut is caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and they cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim! All right, thank you very much, Harold. Our ring announcer tonight is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, let's go to Jimmy for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Rose Garden here in Portland, Oregon, as Goosen to the promotions and presenting the sponsor Jordan Brand, a division of Nike, present the featured bout of the evening, pound for pound king battle of champions, brought to you by sportsbook.com. At this time, we introduce to you our judges, as appointed by the Oregon State Boxing Commission, from Oregon, Greg Baker. From Nevada, Dwayne Ford. And also from Oregon, Jim Howard. Introducing at this time our third man in the ring, the referee in charge of this bout, Richard Steele. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing in a welterweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Portland, it's time for the main event of the evening. It 
Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim. He is fighting out of our nation's capital of Washington, D.C., by way of Tacoma Park, Maryland. He weighed in at a ready 145 and one quarter pounds with a record of 56 wins, four losses. He has 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBA super lightweight champion of the world, known as the Little Big Man, introducing Shonda Mitchell. And his opponent across the ring, ready to go on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing brown trunks with black trim, hailing from Grand Rapids, Michigan, now residing in Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds even. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a perfect record of 34 wins, no losses, 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of boxing's pound for pound greats, the three-time world champion and the current WBC super lightweight champion of the world, introducing the undefeated pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Once again, a referee in charge, Richard Steele, now to give instructions. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dress room. Question you again, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands and good luck. Is this going to be a concert? Starring the solo artist Floyd Mayweather Jr., or will it be a contest that Sean Bay Mitchell makes? We shall soon find out. The word on behalf of expert commentator Roy Jones playing in pain tonight, working with a very bad cold, but hanging in. Good for you, Roy. Thank Round you. one begins. And let's see if uh, Mitchell, a boxer throughout his career, will try to do something to surprise Mayweather in the early going. Doesn't look that way. Very hard for the Leopard to change its spots. Charmbay does look heavy up top in his second appearance at 147. Floyd trying try to catch him right quick with a good punch to see can he go ahead and hurt him early. Floyd Mayweather, over the course of the past year, two years, has gradually and steadily increased the power on his straight right hand. Most devastating punch. Right. He's gone from being a knockout possibility to, in many instances, a knockout puncher. Well, that's what he's trying to do here. He's trying to get Coach Charmbay, go ahead and turn this into a quick fight, and lay him big punches early. Right hand to the body by Mayweather. Mayweather blocking almost all of those punches with his elbows and forearms. And as Roy Jones says, sizing up Mitchell and looking to land a big shot in the early going. I think he's looking to see which, where the punches are coming from, um, how Mitchell really operates. As he said in that interview, he is a very smart fighter along with his physical skills. I think he's trying to find out right away, can Sean May take his punch? And there's, like the, there's the question. That was the right hand that was determined to find out whether Sean Bay could take it. Mitchell took it pretty well, but not those two. Now Sean Bay begins to hold on. Mayweather's clocked him with three big shots. One left and two rights. There's another right and a left hook, and Sean Bay's in trouble. That's what he's trying to find out right away. Left hook lands solidly. And he's moving Mitchell with these punches. Right, step back, step back. Now Mitchell starts to hold his ground a little better. Not a 
allowing Mayweather to land the combination by grabbing after the first big hit. Another straight right hand for Mayweather. And that hurt Mitchell. Even though it was very short. <laughs> 